Hey you, do you have a problem with dying in Call of Duty Vanguard? You don't? Well too fucking bad. In all seriousness, to those who do have this problem, I have a solution I bet you've never heard about. And it's quite simple. Just equip the M1 Garand. I have literally heard nothing about this gun, but I have a very strong feeling it's going to be one of the best guns in the game. Just you watch. So I haven't played around with the gun yet, so you'll be seeing my first impressions with the gun, and let me be clear, they were not pretty. Playing with the M1 Garand takes a lot of work with aiming and shit, and trust me, you're going to be dying a lot. Fuck. Well, fuck. Well, that's a good starting game. Man, and if you think that was bad, trust me, the second game was mm, more of the same. Oh shit! Eat! And the third game, oh my lord, that is what took me to my breaking point. It was that bad. I'll just show you one clip that will summarize the entire fucking game for you. No, I can't believe we lost. I wonder how I did after my third game. What the fuck? After a while of me just dying over and over again, I started to get pissed with a gun. And uh, to be honest with you, I didn't really want to use the gun anymore due to my lack of success with it. Uh, I was really close to just giving up and some of these clips will show that. Oh, I am so sick of these things. fucking enemies around. Finally, I don't need to play that bullshit anymore. And then I just blow the fuck up anyway. Thank you. Give me that shit. I'm so sick of the fucking enemies around, are you? Really? I just don't want to fucking play with it anymore. So fucking sick of it. But you know what, after playing with the other guns for long enough, I felt like I didn't give the M1 Garand the chance it deserved. So I stopped being a little bitch and decided to grind it again. But I had a better idea than just grinding it in the multiplayer. That's right bitch, I grinded it in the zombies, this is literally free XP for doing basically fucking nothing, what the actual fuck. Oh wow, look, my gun is magically level 70 now. Crazy how zombies does that to you. Holy fuck, after getting the gun to max, I've noticed some serious changes. I don't fucking suck with it anymore. The gun feels accurate, the damage is great, I'm getting kills with it, what the fuck? Who would have thought some shitter marksman rifle would be so good once you put some time into it? Holy fuck, I'm shitting my pants right now, I love this thing. Oh my lord, bro, this is the greatest shit I've ever played with in my life. I'll be honest with you, I didn't think I'd like the M1 Garand that much, and turns out it turns into a beast leveled up, being able to two-shot most people and with the right attachments a one-shot to the head. The gun really proved me wrong. In a video I planned to make when Vanguard first came out, I labeled the gun as absolute trash, and I didn't really plan on playing with the gun at all. But for shits and giggles and a little bit of a challenge, I decided to level it up, and honestly, I plan on playing it with it more often seriously now, and I recommend that you all try the same. Trust me, you're going to die a lot with it, and it's gonna suck for a while. But brave the storm and trust me, you will enjoy the gun just as much as I do. So please, put down your Cooper carbines and your bars for one goddamn game, those guns are such fucking bullshit, and give the sad, lonely M1 Garand a try. I'll give you my personal loadouts for the gun so you can use the attachments that got me so many of my kills. Uh, we have the Compensator, uh, the Hand Stub, the Cooper 25 inch custom, the any scope you want really, uh, the Cooper adjustable stock, uh, I just like how quickly it aims in, 
vital is very important because uh, gets your kills easier, you know. Fully loaded because you want that ammo. Fabric grip, uh, the 16 round drums just so you have ammo because if you have, if you run base ammo, you're gonna burn through ammo like a bitch. Lengthened, that's the only one that makes fucking sense unless you want to be a bitch and run incendiary. And just like that, this is the this is my regular M1 Garand. But I do have a headshots version, which essentially is the same gun, but I switched out. Uh, this is essentially the my original M1 Garand, except I switched out the 25-inch custom for the 26-inch uh, precision, just to just to guarantee that one-shot headshot. If you're looking for that. To be honest, just go crazy with this. Uh, that's gonna be all I have for you guys today. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to like the video. It helps out a lot. And subscribe if you're new. And if you enjoy the content, I'll catch you all later.